hi guys and welcome again to Eswakago youtube channel and this is where we inspire we inform and we also encourage people i'm hoping my sound is uh, audible and uh let me start by thanking each and every one of you and today i would want to do uh, a video replying to some of the questions that i see sometimes i'm not able to respond individually and that is why I prefer doing a video so that you can go to my YouTube and get to check there because I cannot be able to respond to each and everyone because I also go to work and I have other responsibilities. So to make my work easier, I make videos. So I would want to request someone, if you want to ask me a question, please make sure that it is not something I have talked about on YouTube. So I'm going to uh, want to handle this um repetitive question and i feel like everybody ask because they feel concerned oh so why not so this is a question about how to prepare yourself for the interview at the um, embassy number one thing never ever say something you have not been asked i have seen people asking questions and this is even ahead of the winning that are not even they, they, they do not even make sense like the the people at the embassy they are not angels they only go by the information that you give them that is why you should be very careful and be fearless and answer questions as they are asked please be very brief because talking too much gonna make you to say things that were not supposed to be said okay so for example i saw someone asking me and another thing i would want to point out when you ask me a question stop rephrasing the same question to ask me again okay just be contented with the answer that i give you all if not go ask someone else so that you can hear the other version because even if you ask me a thousand times, I'm going to give you the same answer. Okay. Someone asked me, they are married right now and the current husband is not the dad to their child. Even though the child uh, certificates and um, all the documents read this man's name. So she was asking me, what documents am I supposed to look for because the embassy is conducting dna's who told you are you sure they are conducting dna's out of nowhere like what would make the embassy to conduct um to conduct a, a dna if the child's full names bear the the, the 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 father the current dad how are they supposed to know this is not this child is not his like seriously guys you are giving yourself a lot of headache stop letting this american dream thing make you anxious i have noticed so many people are anxious about it and let me make this clear here not everybody will come to america that is the true that is the reality not everybody will come here to america even though most people want to but whether you come to america or not life must go on so reduce minimize the the level of anxiety that you have that is making you even doubt things or dream about things that are not there and you see them as they are okay so there is no way out of nowhere if the certificates have the name of the current dad there is no way they're gonna come up with DNA thing out of nowhere unless you talk more than they ask you and this is the secret Never ever go to a consular officer and answer things or suggest things that are not asked. You're supposed to only answer what they ask. And if it is possible, for example, if they ask you, what year did you complete your diploma? Diploma is the certificate, the high school certificate. They call it diploma. You are not supposed to say, you know what, um, I, I was supposed to complete in 1930, but um, my dad didn't have fees so to pay for the examination. So I had to say, no, 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 no. Don't say all these things because they will do further verification that wasn't meant. 
So if they ask you, why year did you complete your high school diploma? Go in right away and say 2030. That is when I completed. Or 1930. That is when I completed. And mute. Wait for the next question. Number two thing that makes people fail the embassy exam or the embassy um, interview. It is because of being or feeling anxious. The anxious thing that day of feeling nervous. And it makes them not to believe you because you do not have confidence. You need to have confidence when you are answering questions. That's why I'm telling you, choose few words and mute. Answer and mute and look straight to their eyes so that they can see you are very confident of what you are saying. That way they won't require further interrogation. They will not uh, require further documents to support what you said. Number three, people fail interviews at the embassy because they have not provided, they do not have all the documents required to support their, what they did put in writing. When you filled the uh, application for the DV lottery, there are those questions they ask you. When you fill the DS-260, there is the questions they ask you. There is what you say. Any document you send to them, just bear it in mind that it might need verification if it differs with any of the ones that you have sent in. So always make sure if you say you have a wife and you did a wedding, make sure you have photos to show the wedding evidence. If you have a child that belongs to you and does not belong to your husband that is a stepchild please make sure you have all the documents needed you have found or you have looked for the consent of the other party so that you won't have to delay your case okay it can make you to be your case to be delayed or cancelled how it can be delayed for you to go and look for the consent it can be cancelled if they figure out or if the time frame is over before you get the consent from the other person, especially if they are not agreeing with you to come with the baby. So time frame can make your green card to be cancelled or to be locked out or they can cancel your green card if they figure out there are things you are telling that are not true. Okay. So another thing that might that always make people to fail the interview is presenting false documents my friend you do not do this you do not because they will ask for verification and this is where they gonna figure out these are fake documents for example you did not sit for the high school diploma but you have a fake high school certificate that you want to present if you were born before the computer era, then they will have to look it up and they will see you did not sit for the exam. For the year you are claiming, claiming, I did not say claiming, that wasn't me. And another thing, if you were born before the computer era, then they will have to send you to the, to the examination board and for you to pay, the examination at uh, the examination board to ship your examination certificate directly to them. So either way, they're gonna find out that you never complete or completed high school or you never sat for that uh, certificate that you are talking about. How do you go about this? If you know, or in case you win any, um, if you in case you win lottery and you know you have to have the certificate. Imagine there is a way you can go and do that certificate. There is a school. I don't know if I can be able to, ta uh, to pin it here. There is a school I saw um, the Wajises family uh, posting. And actually, they don't know me. I don't know them. I just uh, found it on their video. There is a school you can go back and finish your high school education. 
oh my god i don't know um i'm gonna figure out which one it is and then i'm gonna pin it on on this video down here you can go back there and sit for your examination guys and they said this is a school that is approved but i'm gonna put a disclaimer do your due diligence because i do not live in kenya i do not know the school i do not know why jesus so i'm just telling what i heard and thought it is beneficial it can benefit someone okay so go sit for the examination and then present that to the embassy and tell them this is my certificate that i completed on this date so as long as they see it's genuine because even here in america not everybody sits for their high school uh, diploma but when you are joining college there is somehow you can go and do do it later in life even after four years even after six years even after 10 years as long as you want to join a college so they go back and do it and then it's acceptable so instead of you going there shaking with a fake document why don't you just go back to school and sit for the examination and then you're gonna get yourself a certificate a genuine one okay guys so this one is outside green cards. This is for people that comes here with a visit visa. I know the embassy ask you for the, they will ask you for a bank statement. If you do not have a bank statement of a, a certain amount, guys, stop lying. Instead of coming here with a fake uh, bank uh, statement, why don't you talk to someone who has a fat bank statement and ask them if they can sponsor you? That way, you would present it to them and tell them this is my sponsor this is my sponsor just be genuine talk the truth the truth will always set you free guys i do not wish to make this video any longer than this if you have questions that have not been covered on this video please do not hesitate to uh, comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and guys never forget to keep on keeping on because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And those of us who are on TikTok, please go there and follow me there. Esuakago. And God will bless you. Bye-bye, guys.